Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to be reading chapter eight. We don't even have a taco night. Juanita grabbed us both by our collars. She might have looked small and fragile, but in an instant, she took two short steps and threw us into the bushes. I expected to be stopped by limbs and branches, but instead I fell through the foliage into an opening between the bushes and the wall of the school. Juanita had us trapped. I turned my back against the wall, bracing for her attack. Juanita crouched on her hands and knees. I could see white mist escaping from her mouth as she panted. What were you saying in there about not being villains? Her voice sounded sarcastic. And remind me, who just destroyed the school library? I opened my mouth, but nothing came out. Then he jumped to my rescue. Well, we wouldn't have had to destroy it if you hadn't tried to smash us. Juanita glared. In a much smaller voice, Benny said, do you think Mr. Wells is going to be mad? Oh, I think everybody is going to be mad, Bailey, Juanita said. The only reason I didn't turn you in right the only reason I don't turn you in right now is because it might give away my secret identity. Juanita turned her head and spit. Does your mouth ever dry out with all that spitting you do? I asked. Juanita didn't bother answering. Well, probably we'll probably have to tell the librarian, Benny said. Clearly, Juanita's mind games were working. That would be the right thing to do. We were defending the school from a villain, I said, looking directly at Juanita. We can't tell the librarian without explaining that we're superheroes. Super villains, Juanita said. Superheroes. Super villains. Superheroes. Super... Can I say something? Benny asked. Juanita shrugged. I'm not your teacher. You can talk whenever you want. Benny cleared his throat. <clears throat> I got my superpower on Monday, and it's worthless. I looked over at my brother in horror. Juanita's face went dark. Her eyes narrowed, and for a moment she looked like a snake about to strike. What did you say? He didn't say anything. Benny, don't say another word. Benny, of course, went right on talking. My power lets me turn my belly button from an innie to an outie. He got on his knees and lifted his shirt. With a soft pop, his belly button became an Audi. Another pop, and it became an innie. That's my superpower. I couldn't help it. I slapped myself on the forehead. Now Juanita knew we were powerless. Or rather, that Benny was powerless. I could still try to bluff. If you try to hurt him, I said, doing my best to sound threatening. My power is... I realized I should have thought of a fake power earlier. Uh, I can shoot microwaves out of my eyes. Benny looked surprised. Microwaves? Wouldn't that hurt when they came out? They're all big and square. Not the appliances, Benny, I said. Just the waves, you know, like on taco night when I melt all the cheese for your nachos with my eyes. We don't even have taco night. I couldn't read Juanita's face. She looked at Benny for a long time. Her face seemed to soften, and I realized for the first time that when she wasn't scowling or spinning, Juanita looked almost pretty. When she finally spoke, her voice was quiet. That was very brave of you, Benny Bailey. Almost as if an afterthought, she turned her head and spit. Thank you, Benny said. And then before I could stop him, Rafter's real power is that he can light matches on polyester. Benny! Juanita looked from Benny to me. Her face softened a little more. I got a worthless power, too. At last, I caught her in a lie. We saw you, I said, at the museum. You have all the powers. My aunt is a light shifter, Juanita said. Do you have one of those? Benny nodded. We have a cousin in Oak City who is a light shifter. She bends light, and she can make herself look like anybody she wants. And she can disguise people who are nearby, too. One time for Halloween, she gave me a mustache and an extra set of armpits so I could... Benny, I said, not now. Juanita continued. My aunt went to the museum and made it appear as if I was there. She took turns making each person look like me. I was at home, in bed. We did it to confuse your family. That's also why my uncle came to teach our algebra class, to protect me from you two. My mind was spinning. She had been lying. The bookcases, I said. They were closing in on us, and how did you disable the safety mechanism? Juanita looked at me like I was crazy. I didn't disable anything. 
The shelves only close when there's no one standing on the ground. If you two wouldn't have started climbing shelves like monkeys, you wouldn't have had any problems. I felt more than a little silly. I had a million questions, but I ended up asking only one. If you're not a super super, I asked, what's your power? Moneda leaned forward, leaned toward me. Our noses were almost touching and I could feel her breath on my face. I smelled ginger and cinnamon. An electronic buzzer cut through the cold air. I couldn't help but jump. Lunch is over, Juanita said. I have to go to P.E. And with that, Juanita Johnson turned and crawled out of the bushes.